Welcome back to the first lecture of our course in well control. In the last in the last lecture, we talked about the in brief introduction about what we will do and what are the courses uh, that we will give, and we will give a note that all of the, of the courses will be in English. Today, we will start with the well control uh, course. We have objective. What is the objective of this course? First of all, my objective of this course is that you can go to the test of the IWCF and get high mark. This is, this is for me. Also, you have to know the procedures and the practices about the well control in order to avoid any problems of well control on the rig. Uh, so, the first objective is to understand the different types of pressures, the hydrostatic pressure, the formation pressure, the fracture pressure, the mass, all the pressures in the world. Okay. Second one, to identify the mass and the leak of test. The third one is to understand the different causes of the kicks, the reasons that may make the, that may lead to the kicks. Okay. Number four, to determine the best procedures to shut in the well. Uh, if we assume that there is a, a kick, how can we deal with this issue in very safe and very fast way? Because this may cost us, uh, may cost us a lot of problems or a lot of uh, costs in human life and in machinery too. Okay. To understand the different methods of killing the wells. Okay. Maybe the driller method or the wheel and weight method, the volumetric method, the lubricant bleed, the ball heading, and each one has its situation to use. Okay. Also. To make the kill sheet calculations, kill sheet is one of the most important things that you have to be to, to be done daily, daily. Because you know, at any time you may have a problem of well control issue. So you have to prepare the kill sheet daily and to 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 be interested of, of it. So we will learn how to solve it properly. Also. To understand the blowout preventers and the well control units and how to use it and what are the differences between each other and when to use each one. To practice how to solve the exam of IWCF and finally to get high score in simulator if you need to go to multinational company and work as a drilling supervisor will be tested on this, uh, you will be examined on this uh, simulator. So, you have to pass the simulator with high score. Okay, by the way, my, my grades in this, uh, in the IWCF were P&B, 95, equipment, 93, and simulator, 90. So, I am now uh, re 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 really able to give, to, give, to give this course to another. Some notes about the IWCF exam. Okay, what is the IWCF exam? <coughs> International World Control for Mula. Okay, they give exam. This exam is two years certification. So the certificate is valid just for two years. After two years, it has you have to uh, to make a new exam and to know the to, to, to make update to your certification. First of all, most of the days it is in the Thursday because the course is about five days. Four are to give the course, and the fifth and the fifth day is to take the exam. Okay, so it almost is the end of Thursday here in our uh, Mina, uh, Mina, uh, Middle East and North Africa. Okay, the well control are two parts. The IWCF. First one is called Principles and Procedures P and P. Uh, this this exam is two and a half hours. Okay, two and a half hours, and uh, you have to pass it with minimum 70% to pass, okay? It's two and a half hours, about, it's about 64, 64 questions, well, uh, total 215, <coughs> sorry, 215 points, okay? For the supervisor level, but for the driller level, it's just 60, uh, 46, uh, just 46 questions, for the driller level and just one and a half hours. Okay. Uh, then you take the equipment. Uh, take the equipment. It's just one hour for all the level 
if it is supervisor or driver. This is short notes about the exam. The course content that we will, the, the content of the items if that we will get. First of all, the philosophy of well control, the barriers, the risk assessment, and the pressures and the philosophy, the pressures to control the theory. Okay. Number two, general calculations. You have to know the how to convert from barrels to strokes, to strokes, and the, uh, the appreciation is round up or round down. Okay, uh, for kill model, by the way, you have to round up. Have to round up. If you it is mass, you have to round up. That's calculation. Also, you have to know the volumes and the pressure. The volumes, if it is metal displacement, if it's capacity, if it's end, uh, closed end capacity, if it's open end capacity, and each one you have, we will get, we will take all these calculations later. After this, we will take the difference between the fracture pressure and the mass and the leak of test. Okay, we will also do the after this the something is called slow circulating rate or uh, slow pump circulating rate, which is used, which, which must be done at least twice per day at each shift at least. And uh, this slow circulation is used during the uh, this slow circulating rate is used during the killing the well. Okay. After this, you will get some definitions, but the leak of test, the mass, and etc. etc. Okay. The causes also we will take the causes of the rates. Of the kicks, why kicks? Open? Why kicks occurs due to the this is due to the loss of underbalance of the balance. So you go underbalance at first. Some formations which are abnormal formations. Some other problems. We will take all this. Okay. Kick warning signs. Something. Kick warning. It's just a warning. Okay. Kick warning signs. It's about. Eight signs we will take them as the shape, uh, the shale density and the change in the shape of the, the, of the shale cuttings ATC. Okay, also about the positive indication you have already took the cake. How you know you took the cake from the bit level, from the pump pressure, from blah blah blah? We will take all this also. Okay, shutting procedures. Hard shutting or soft shutting, and what is the policy in your, com in your company? And why you use it? What about the soft formation and the hard formation? You have to know, okay? Also, some data you have shut in the well, so there are some data you have to collect the shutting casing pressure, the shutting drip, drip pipe pressure, and the pit gain. And also, don't, don't forget. The, the depth, the depth, the bit depth. You have to make all the four uh, data, okay? And you have to compare at this time the shutting casing pressure, why it is much low, higher than the shutting drip by pressure, and what are this, the other cases that they are equal to each other or other issues, okay? The killing method, driller method, weight and weight method, which are the most common. Two ways, uh, two methods, and the volumetric. If you have some problems in the drill string, and if you are, you cannot use the driller or the weight and weight. You have to use the volumetric. If you are in work over, you have to make pull head into the well, and sometimes and a lot of problems. Okay. How to solve the kill sheet? Okay. How to drill the top hole? The top hole. Kick prevention, you have to know it also. Also, the well control problems. Well control problems, such as if you have to make the shutting casing pressure while killing the well at constant, but you make the shutting drip by pressure, what will what will happen to the bottom half pressure? What are the problems that may happen later? So you have also to know this and we will give this to the in this course. The deviated kill sheet. The deviated kill sheet, which is given to you in the exam, and it is already you will get some pressure gauges, some gauges on the pressures, and you have to give some decisions. 
Okay, we will practice on this. And finally, the similarity. First of all, why do you take this course? Why? Can you ask yourself why I give you this course? I give you this course to avoid these accidents. This accident, this accident, this accident, and this one. Because, you know, that the will control, whatever, who is, cannot give you a decision in will control. Cannot press on you, or oh, if you are a supervisor, and there, there is a superintendent or the team leader, makes some problems with you about something in the rig. Two issues cannot, just cannot negotiate with you. The well control and the safety. So you have to know very well about the well control to avoid any problem of these problems. Because the problem of well control, it not just cost the money, money, but it will cost lives. So First one, you know, you have to know, as a well control, there is something that's called barriers, and some pressures you will know. But the barriers, what is the meaning of barrier? If you are going from here to upstairs, there is blazing sun, so you have to get a protector. The protectors my clothes are barrier and my skin is barrier also and blah blah if i got also umbrella this is a barrier so the philosophy of the barrier is mean that this is something that prevent the problem so in well control the barrier is to prevent the well from flow or prevent the well after flowing from bullet. Okay? So, this is the, the general meaning of a barrier. So, what kind of well surface disaster? What is the disaster that could happen by the pressure? Pull out. Simple. Pull out. You know what happened in Gulf of Mexico for the British Petroleum Company? They lost not just the wreck, but 11 people in a well called Macondo. I don't, uh, I don't understand, I don't remember the number, but Macondo, which is in the movie, it's called uh, 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 Deep Water Horizon. Okay. What is the causes of the blue out? The blue out. <laughs> blue out. What does that mean? What, why? Why it occurs? Because there is no control over the well. All the barriers that I have made have failed. That's it. Because of the barrier failure. So, what is the barrier? We, we have told it. Any device or fluid or substance that prevents the flow of the well bore fluids. Okay. So, what is the difference between the kick and the blue out? The kick is uncontrolled. It's, uh, it's just uncontrolled or unexpected influx. You take a kick, you have to take, you have a game, and there is something that's called the kick tolerance. Kick tolerance, which is how the maximum number of barrels that you can take as influx without breaking the formation, the fracturing the formation. It's called the kick tolerance. Okay, so the kick is unexpected influx of the formation fluid into the bore hole. What is the meaning of blow out? The blow out is uncontrolled kick. Uncontrolled kick. Okay, so that's the difference between them. What are the types of blow out? Blow out. Surface blow out, which is the most normal, okay, and the most dangerous then the surface one is the underground blowout. The underground blowout, when the gases escape from one formation to up for, for another formation due to the bad cementing or something like this, and if you may are making some development wells, you will see this problem in the next well, which is unexpected. For example, uh, 
some uh, some one accident had happened in in the east uh, desert in Egypt, and they don't expect the pocket gas or something like this, but they took the pocket gas and the well got fired. Okay, get damaged and burned. Okay, uh, so the barrier classification, barrier classification, and the barrier tests. We will take both of them and we end the video. Barrier classification, there is a primary barrier. What is the meaning primary barrier? For me, just remember, if you are going to up stairs and they have umbrella, so the first barrier to prevent the sun from, from you is the umbrella. So this is called the primary barrier. What is the second barrier? If the umbrella has failed, you have the second one, which is your clothes. Okay, so this is the second barrier. And if also your clothes go torn, your body will be uh, protected through your skin, through your skin, which is the last one. So the classification of barriers, there is a primary barrier, secondary barrier, third, tertiary barrier. The primary barrier, it is the normal. It is the, a barrier that performs pressure control during normal operation, normal operation. So a lot of uh, references are giving the primary barrier to the hydrostatic head or to the mud dynasty. Okay, it's always closed barrier like the hydrostatic pressure. Secondary barrier. If this failed, go to the secondary barrier. The well is flowing, so this this hydrostatic pressure is useless. So the secondary barrier to close the well by the BOE. So the barrier it performs control even in the event of primary control fails. When the primary control barrier fails. It's always collapsible like the BOB and print. Okay. The tertiary barrier, when both of them fails, this is the tertiary one. Tertiary barrier is almost the shear ram. Shear ram. And also, if you if the shear ram have failed, and uh, it might happen in the condo, so they make relief well, relief well. Okay, and kill the will by other means. <coughs> okay, so the classification there is something called barrier envelope. What is the meaning by barrier envelope? By barrier envelope means. Combination, combination of barriers, okay, combination of barriers that prevent the well from flowing even to the formation or to the other, uh, to the formation or to the surface. But if one of them failed, all of them fail. This is the, the barrier envelope. Why? The well at the production state. There is tubing, there is backer, and there is tubing hanger, and with it. This is called the barrier envelope. But one of them failed, like hole in the tubing, all of this fails. The butter is not sealing, also all of this, this fails. The tubing hunger failed, go to the environment. So if one of them failed, all of them failed. This is the barrier envelope. Okay. Uh, to act as a qualified barrier, how can I consider this a qualified barrier? You have three, mainly three, three reasons to or to see to say that this is a barrier is qualified barrier. Uh, it has to be tested in place. This is the first one. It has to be tested in place. So the fluid valve in the drilling in the drill pipe is not considered at all a barrier because it cannot be tested in place and this is a question coming in the exam every time, every time, every time. Okay, this is you, the float valve and the pit sub and it is not considered a barrier because, because it is not tested in place. Uh, what are the different tests of the barrier? The different tests of the barrier. The different the barriers may be hydrostatic or mechanical. <coughs> okay, hydrostatic like you know the mud, the mud weight. 
It can be tested in Malaysia, that it's, it's easy. And mechanical, which is maybe the BOD or the bridge plug, cement plug, or any, any tools, any tools, by the way, RTS, buckle, restore, valve, any of them. Okay, so there are different testing, and each one, each test, uh, each test is done according to the requirements. So the first test is done from the direction of the flow, direction of the flow from the well, like the BOB test. All the BOB tests are done from the direction of the flow. Okay, that's it. Number two, it is the direct pressure application of pressure over it. Like when you set the bridge block or you mix cement block, you or your RTS and storm valve, all these are the same. You make direct pressure test over it. So there is a second type of testing. Third one is called the negative test or inflow test, where the downstream has negative pressure or pressure lower than the the first one, and this type of and the the barrier or the seal is closed. So you see to check if there is a, if there is a leak or something like that, like the lower master valve, the TR subsurface safety valve, wire plug, wire line plugs like Z D H plug, where pressure where pressure there is differential pressure between them, and others like buckers like like uh, every one of them. Okay, example like the lower master valve, the wire line plugs and backers and the liner backer hanger and the liner in the, in the setting after setting liner and finishing the sealing job <coughs> and releasing the tool and pull out for for distance, you make reverse circulation and make a negative test with lighter mat. So there is a mechanical barrier, as we told. The mechanical barrier must be direct, must be tested in the direction of the flow of the well, and the above should be subject to acceptable risk assessment. By the way, by the way, what is the meaning of risk assessment? Assessment: If you are making something which is not normal, so you take the risk. Any risk can be done. There is no problem, but you have to make risk assessment and to discuss with all the crew and after this do document is the same and each one of them must assign these documents this is called the risk assessment and it is must be done such as all the POB must be tested from the uh, direction of the flow so from the under but if you make it from the above there is no problem but you have to make a risk assessment about this you know also, the hydrostatic barrier, as we told, it is a mud. It must be maintained and quali qualified each time. Um, so there is a question, question which is asked from a lot of countries, a lot of uh, companies all over the world, Ramco, Admic, and all of them. What are the minimum requirements of the barriers to make a well control? Ah. What are the minimum requirements of well barriers? First of all, if it is oil wells, the oil wells, just two barriers, minimum two barriers tested. If it is gas wells or oil with a high gas oil ratio, minimum three barriers tested. Okay? So, number of tested barriers. If it's oil wells, have two tested barriers. Gas wells, three tested barriers in place. Also, leak is zero. Leak rate not greater than zero. Okay? And also, if there is a problem of or any something have been done to the, to the barrier, it must be also documented and so under the supervisor and the supervision of the company man or the rig uh, or the tool pusher or another persons or the involved persons. The test deviation, any deviation from the test 
must be specified and documented, including all the mitigation actions and the deviation not approved, uh, not must be uh, is approved by the senior person. We will finish our lesson this day, so wait for me in the next lecture with pressure engineering. Thank you very much. If the video likes, if, if you admire the video, click like, and if, if it's good for you, you have to share it, you have to subscribe, and all your friends try to spread the channel as much as you can. Thank you very much and see you in the next time. Thank you.